County leaders and water authority officials announced their opposition to the water tax in front of this guardian of the water statue. It symbolizes San Diego's protection over one of its most precious resources, water. That's a new tax every time you fill your glass, a tax to take a bath, a tax to do the laundry, a tax to water your flowers. It's a terrible idea. The proposed $135 million per year tax would pay to treat polluted water across the state. It would impose a 95 cent per month water tax on most households and higher charges for business and agriculture industries. An estimated 300 communities and 1 million Californians are exposed to contaminated, unsafe drinking water. But the regional leaders say taxing a basic human need to address the problem would set a dangerous precedent. They say it should be the state's responsibility. It doesn't make sense to place a disproportionate responsibility on ratepayers to clean up groundwater contamination caused by others. Haney Hong is president and CEO of the San Diego Tax Association. He says adding another tax burden to residents in one of the nation's most expensive states is not the answer. We expect our elected leaders to come up with efficient solutions to the problems that we face. And this is not one of those solutions. We shouldn't, the rest of us should not have to pay for something that was caused by polluters. The leaders proposed several funding options that would help address the unsafe water issues, including charging polluters, creating a trust fund from state budget surpluses, and applying cap-and-trade funds. State legislators are expected to vote on the tax by mid-June. Susan Murphy, KPBS News.